Okay, if you guys understood the functionality of popup.js, then this is going to be fairly simple. All we are going to do is when the user enters a limit and clicks on the save limit button, then we are going to set a value in the Chrome storage. And we are going to retrieve that value at a later point of time. And when the user clicks on reset total, then we are going to assign a value of zero to the already existing variable total in the Chrome storage. So let's see how to do that. Now I have created a new file called options.js where we are going to implement our options functionality. So we're going to start off with jQuery of course, so dollar and we're going to have a function and inside the function we first need to listen to the click event of the save limit button. So first let us select the button. So pound save limit dot click to listen to the click event and when the user clicks we need to do something. We first retrieve the, va the value of the input box so our limit is equal to dollar the ID of the input box which is nothing but limit dot val. So we are storing the value in a variable called limit. So if there is a limit after all then we're going to set that value in Chrome storage. So Chrome dot storage dot sync dot set. Now this takes in an object. The property or the key is going to be limit and the value is going to be the limit, this limit over here, the variable. And then we can also specify an optional callback function. So function and we're just going to close the tab. So when the user clicks on the button, we're going to set the value of limit in Chrome storage and close the current tab. All right, now the other thing we need to do is when the user clicks on reset total. So dollar, let's first select the button. So reset total. Then when the user clicks on that, we need to do something. So what are we doing? We are going to set a value of zero to total. So Chrome dot storage dot sync dot set the total variable with the value of zero. So now let's go ahead and save this and go back to our browser. I'm going to click, okay, let me close this and reopen the options tab. So options. And when I click on limit and let's say 10, save limit, it's going to save the limit in Chrome extension storage and then close the tab. But here's the thing, when I open the pop-up, we don't see the limit. I did save a value, but we don't see it. Now we have just set the value for limit. We are not getting it anywhere. And since we have specified the display in the pop-up, we need to have that functionality in popup.js. So let's go back to popup.js and initially when we are getting the total, we also need to get the limit. So square brackets because it's an array now and this is going to be comma limit and we're going to close this. And over here, we're going to say dollar limit, which is nothing but the ID we have in popup.html. So dot text is going to be budget dot limit. So budget dot limit. So now let's save this. Let me, okay, let me, okay. So when I open this, now we see that limit. So when I go to options page again, I don't have the limit here. So we need to go back to our options page and initially we need to get the value if it's already stored. So chrome.storage, yep, we have done this before. chrome.storage.sync.get what are we getting? We are getting the limit and we are also going to have a callback function that takes an object budget and we are just going to set dollar pound limit. So this is the ID of the limit in the options page. So dot val is going to be budget dot limit. So now let's save this and let me close this and open the options tab again 
and there you go we have the limit displayed so when I say 100 and save limit it's going to close we're going to have a limit of 100 over here and when I click on options we have the limit 100 here and now when I click okay we have the total which is 1100 I'm going to click on reset total when I open this the total spent is zero so both our save limit and reset total buttons are working perfectly.